different perspectives of understanding life. Well, we think often that everything has been explored and understood, practiced, and therefore we accept it. We don't question it. We go along with it. And in some ways, we might risk feeling a bit stale inside, in the sense that perhaps we don't find motivation to do something because we don't understand the point of it, especially if it's already been done, experimented, found out. And at the end of the day, Perhaps, if we tried to expand a little bit our vision and our thoughts, we may find it's not so. Very often, we find that uh, other people in the world come up with the same brilliant ideas that they patent as their own, that others who don't know them somewhere else in our beautiful earth have also come up with at the same time. So, we start pondering, hmm. Strange, interesting. Is our thought really our own? Or perhaps did we arrive to that thought due to a process that if other people do similarly, they can also reach? And it seems that the latter is true. That studies confirm that when a certain evolved understanding has reached its maturation point, the same result will appear. That is to say that as more and more scientists seem to be stating or and implying that we don't really think in our own head and more likely we are instead antennas receiving the information, the right frequency, the right ideas and ways of moving on and furthering the world via an external to us field of information, which is the terminology also used by scientists, whereby we tap into what is already there to make it our own and with our previous knowledge on something else, in turn transform into something a little different, a little novel, and maybe more useful. So, when we see all of these things happening, it becomes a little dangerous to believe that we all have all answers, number one, because they keep on transforming, number two, because it's not just we 
on earth that we is much broader than we made it to be. And even more importantly, the we is made by many of us, many I. And I certainly have understanding of what, if I want to understand it, that is, what I'm all about. On the other hand, maybe it's incorrect to say, I did this, I invented that, I, I, I. Direction points are one way of trying to then link our present circumstances on Earth in the year 2022 and find how they, together with past experiences and future possibilities, they may help us do a lot that perhaps we give power to others to carry out for us when in fact, most likely, the answers are within because we can all tap onto them given that they are freely available in concept energy fields that can become our own once we allow that little whisper be audible. The collection of different images with some reflections and mainly more involved writing with links of information that's already out there will hopefully and thus be helpful to any of those people who do understand that life is forever transforming, nothing is set in stone, and we can all do our own part to first improve our own daily existence. And then, once we know how to do that better, perhaps share it with others in any way we can, so that together we can move to better ways of coping with life and enjoying it. The ancients, as many are finding out, left us a legacy of immeasurable and beautiful teachings and practices that really elevate the human soul and help us transform things within our bodies, our thoughts and our spirit into a better version of what we are living. And it is possible, for example, and science knows this, to regenerate most of a sick liver. It may be much harder with a gallbladder, and yet we all know that our skin quickly regenerates when we cut it, which is a very obvious proof that our body is very intelligent and without our conscious help knows how to do its own healing in very subtle, beautiful ways.
One of such practices is the ancient art of mudras. They deal with movements of your fingers in your hands that are usually held for some seconds, sometimes for some minutes, which are generally practiced daily, sometimes more than once, often as frequently as one feels comfortable. And these practices are very good to balance certain aspects of our mind, body and soul that for some reason have got out of kilter. Yet, and unfortunately, they're not yet common knowledge. A lot of Asian people do know about them. Many Westerners don't. A lot of free material on them is already available in YouTube. All you need to do is to type M U D R A Mudra or Mudras, adding an S at the end, M U D R A S, followed by your concern for example, for headache, for example, for restlessness, for example, for fast healing, for example, to um, concentrate better, and whatever else you may think of. And then find these very simple exercises that some kind person or teacher has been putting up for everyone to enjoy and use when needed, totally free of charge, which is fantastic. Underneath each of these presentations with the spiel you've just heard, therefore, you will find specific links to some of these people whose work is online and or the actual links to specific such exercises. There are many others available on other fields and more will be mainly explained very briefly in this collection without the long spoken introduction with links that are in writing accompanying the actual spoken word. Namaste.